this is guided with Implant Studio. In this case, we, are going, we need to remove those four. We are planning it inside Implant Studio, CBCT. We are making a pre-design of the crowns, making everything, uh, um, um, placing uh, the implants virtually, taking care of the bone, of all the positions, everything. And now I have my four implants. Implant Studio has an amazing tool that allow us to control the angle between the implants. This is very important because when you are trying to make a bridge or a full arch to control the angulation between the different implants, this is important because my T bases allow me different uh, angulations to get passive fit, okay? So, uh, I have my four implants and because I have my study model blue, the lab technician can mix both files and look for the better aesthetics from the patient based, based, based on the anatomy she has on the computer, on the different anatomies she has on the computer. Now, we are going to remove it. We have, sorry, those, those are the guided crowns prepared. The guide with the slots where I have to stop when I'm screwing my implant. And now, we are going to use again the bone level taper uh, um, protocol from Strauman, different combinations, try to avoid complex cases, trying to maintain all the cylinder at the same, same height, and then with uh, uh, 12 millimeters implants, we are going to place it in our patient. I need to stop my insertion just with the slot, okay? So if, I, if I'm able to match that, it is incredible because when, when you are reaching that point, then it becomes stiffer, you know? It becomes really hard. Now I need to take my ice cues of my, of my implants to be sure I can, uh, I have enough uh, ice cube value to, 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 to start my immediate loading, to continue my immediate loading procedure in both implants. Those are the guided crowns now to place in our patient. Second. Third and fourth. We try to avoid any damage to the soft tissue, try to preserve everything to be minimal invasive in, in the treatments. I think that's the most important thing to, to get nicest results because all the uh, uh, soft tissue is going to be remodeled to be built around that.